What's up guys? Oddman105 here. And before we begin, I have a couple of major shout outs to give. First and foremost, to Panos Fortidas. And second, to Ozman for their support of my channel. Thank both of you very much. I really do appreciate it. Let's start this show. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be discussing the best locations to purchase an auto shop property. Now, as you guys may be aware, the auto shop properties are 30% off this week and they'll grant you access to the auto shop contracts which have a pretty decent payout for what they are. In addition to that, the legitimate sides of the business also have a fairly decent payout for solo players and can be done all in invite only sessions, so keep that in mind. Now, let me preface this video by stating that this is not going to be a full-blown purchasing guide and walkthrough of the auto shop uh, properties. I do, however, have a video for purchasing auto shop properties and going through the entire process with a full walkthrough on my channel. So if you guys are interested, there will be a link in the description down below for that video. But for now, uh, let's get right into this. Okay, let me also state that uh, this is your game, so you guys can play the game any way that you want. You can buy any properties anywhere that you want. You can spend however much money you want to spend on the property. Again, this is just my recommendation for the best property locations for the auto shop. Okay, this is your game. You play it however you want to play it. However, it is never a good idea to purchase any property that's north of the Alamo Sea here. And that's because any property purchased this far north, especially for a solo player, will make sale missions and delivery missions for cargo, vehicles, etc. extremely difficult and frustrating. So you want to avoid that at all costs. Now, the auto shop properties are located here in the south, in the Los Santos area. And if we zoom in, zoom back out, and take a look at auto shops. There are five auto shops throughout the map of Los Santos. Now, to be fair, there is no wrong location for purchasing an auto shop property because they're all located here within the city. But something to keep in mind is that you also want to avoid purchasing a property that's too far south on the map. And for the, the exact same reasons uh, that you don't want to purchase a property too far north. Uh, that will make delivery missions or sale missions for a solo player difficult. Now, as previously mentioned, with any business in GTA Online, you've got two sides to the business. You've got a legal side, or the legal front, then you've got the illegal side of the business. So let's talk about the legal side first. Your auto shops will allow you to uh, upgrade and modify customers' cars, or even sell customers' cars as well. Now, sale missions or delivery missions for customer vehicles, more specifically, will happen here in the city limits. So there's no wrong decision or wrong location, I should say, for purchasing an auto shop with respect to the legal side of your business. However, for the illegal side of your business or the auto shop contracts, there are going to be two areas of execution, either here in the city or to the north in Blaine County in either Sandy Shores or the Grand Sonora Desert. Now, as a result of that, you want to purchase a, an auto shop property that's north. Not necessarily far north, but as north as you can afford within your budget, of course. And again, I want to emphasize that there's technically no wrong area for purchasing an auto shop property, but the farther north you go, will make the preparation missions and the finale for the auto shop contracts that much easier. Okay, so of the five locations here, the Rancho location, because it's the farthest south, now this doesn't necessarily disqualify this location, uh, only because it's far south. This is one of the best looking auto shops because it looks like a legitimate auto shop if you can see from the picture here. However, the location may make it a little difficult to complete both delivery missions for your legitimate side of your business and for the contract setups and finale. So just keep that in mind. Again, there's no wrong location for purchasing an auto shop. This one currently is on sale at 1.2 million. So just something to keep in mind. 
the next location here, Strawberry, is one of the best locations for an auto shop because, as you can see, it's right next to a main highway. And it's closer to the eastern side of the map. So this is one of the better locations. This is also one of the cheaper locations at $1.19 billion this week. When we go up, this is the auto shop location that I own, Mission Row. And I purchased Mission Row because it's close to the Los Santos Tuners uh, car meet, to the LS car meet. And if we can zoom in here, Mission Row is also near a main expressway. And this is also one of the cheapest locations in the game for an auto shop. Uh, this week it's on sale at 1.12 mil. The next location, La Mesa, is one of the more expensive locations. Actually, I think this is the most expensive because it's closest to the Diamond Casino here. But it's right next to a main expressway, to a main highway here. So of the locations, this is probably your best bet if you're looking for convenience and location alone. The La Mesa Auto Shop is one of the best locations. If you've got the money for it, buy it. And of course, the final location here in Burton, which is close to the uh, the West Vinewood area, at 1.28 million. Again, you've got a main road here. And this is what's important about purchasing any property, the proximity to a main road and to expressways and the ease at which you can complete a setup mission, delivery mission, or a heist finale. So again, I want to emphasize that there's no wrong location for any one of the auto shop contracts, but if you can, try to avoid purchasing the Rancho location only because it's farthest south. Again, if this is all you can afford, then so be it. Okay, so now you've made a decision, you're going to purchase an auto shop. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. Okay, now you don't need to buy any of the extras. Again, this has no effect on your ability to make money or complete contract missions for your auto shop, so you don't need any of this. I suggest waiting until this stuff, these customizations and modifications go on sale before purchasing them. None of these are on sale this week. Only the base auto shop is on sale at 30% off. Now let's go down to the staff. You don't want to hire either one of these people and that's because they can't drive, <laughs> okay? Part of the legal side of your business requires that you customize and deliver customer vehicles, okay? You can assign, you can hire and assign, that is, these staff members to deliver customer vehicles, but I promise you that if you do that, they're going to trash those cars out and you'll be getting a call from Santa stating that the car made it but it was banged up so you don't want to spend the seven hundred seventy thousand dollars on these two staff members don't hire these two they're worthless just avoid them okay so let's unclick that now the extras I do however recommend that you get personal quarters for your auto shop this will allow you to spawn at your auto shop which will make delivery missions for uh, customer cars and uh, completions for heist preps and finales that much easier. This is an extra car lift. You don't need this immediately because your auto shop comes with a car lift uh, already installed. So that will allow you to get your business, your legal side of your business up and running. So you don't need the extras. I recommend that you purchase the extras when they're on sale. Okay, and at some point Rockstar will put these on sale again. So with that being said, get the personal quarters and you're looking at around 1.5 to 1.6 million dollars to get your auto shop up and running okay so let's back out of here so let's do a quick walkthrough of my auto shop here you get 10 parking spaces for cars for personal vehicles as you can see here and with any property like this of course you get free snacks as you can see you always want to make sure you're full on those. You get these two free arcade games here, which I never use, but they're free. Now, I know I mentioned this and said you should avoid hiring this person. The only reason I hired her is because she's got cool tattoos, and that's it. <laughs> but don't hire either one of these staff. Now, this is the legal side of your business here. You can either modify a customer's vehicle or you can purchase a customer vehicle and add it to your collection. You can also resell a customer's vehicle that's fully auto, uh, fully customized, that is, and make money on the customizations that you've made.
to that vehicle. That's going to be a topic for a different uh, video, I should say. Now, I have both lifts in my garage, and that's because this lift was on sale at 50% off at one point, so that's why I bought it. This is storage space for a Sasantis heist vehicle, which you get to use automatically during the heist finale. Now, that's if you don't have access to a tuner's car on your own. Let's go up here. I have to pay a dollar for a soda machine that's in my auto shop. That makes no sense. There's green juice right there. This is the heist contract board. And remember, these heists, to include the legal side of your business, can all be completed from an invite-only session, so there's no need to be concerned with trolls, tryhards, or modders, for that matter. Okay, another free video game. This is the single most useless person in the game, next to the uh, auto shop mechanic that I hired. She's just kind of here. Now... Here are your personal quarters. Uh, you've got a gun locker, bedding, and of course you can change your clothes here. And this will allow you to spawn in the auto shop, which of course makes uh, heist completion and uh, delivery of customer vehicles that much easier. All right, now let's go to each auto shop location and take a look around. Okay, so the first location is Mission Row. This is actually my auto shop here. Located right here on the map. As you can see, we're right down the street from the expressway. So easy access to all the main roads. And this is one of the cheaper auto shop properties, by the way. So this one is highly recommended. Okay, the next location is Rancho located right here on the map and we're just to the northeast of uh, Grove Street. You guys know where Grove Street is. This is where most of the gang attacks happen in the game. So just be wary of that. But uh, Rancho is one of the coolest looking locations for the auto shop because it looks like a legitimate auto shop. Now remember this is the farthest south location for an auto shop so just keep that in mind if you decide to purchase this one but uh, in my opinion this is the coolest looking location for the auto shop property it may not be the most convenient or the best for heists and prep missions but it's one of the coolest all right let's go to the next location the third location is going to be here at strawberry located right here on the map and in my opinion this is the best location for an auto shop property as you guys can see we've got immediate access to all the main roads and we're even to the immediate south of the main expressway here which will take us everywhere we need to go on the map so in my opinion this is by far the best location for an auto shop property uh, this location will help you complete your uh, contract prep missions and finale uh, fairly easy simply because of the location alone and you'll also be able to complete your uh, vehicle delivery missions with ease as well. All right. The fourth location is going to be here at La Mesa, located right here on the map. This is also a pretty decent location. My only gripe is that it's a little far east on the map, but it's not a bad location because of the proximity to the expressways, and you're also on the main roads. Okay, and the final location is going to be here at Burton, located right across the street, actually, from the Rockford Hills Plaza in the, the northern part of the city. And you guys can already see we've got a main road right here, which makes this one of the prime locations for an auto shop property. Now, this is the second most expensive auto shop location, so just keep that in mind. But, again, if cost is no object, then this is probably the, the location for you. Okay, guys, so in terms of cost and location, in my opinion, my pick for the best possible location for an auto shop property will be the Strawberry Auto Shop, and that's because it's in the center of Los Santos, number one. Number two, 
It's not the most expensive auto shop property. It's just under $1.2 million during this event week. So it's really a pretty good deal. And number three, uh, the location will allow you to complete the contract prep missions, the finales, and the delivery and sale of customer vehicles extremely easy. So this is all something to keep in mind. And I want to re-emphasize that you guys should play the game the way you want to play it, buy the properties that you want. You know, this is all subjective. This is my opinion as to what I believe is the best auto shop property. And with that being said, this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka The Odd One, and if you found this informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, keep bringing that smoke, and take care out there.